with him over top of him. The car was over top of him. A neighborhood block party goes from fun to frightening in seconds. An SUV plows into a crowd, sending several people to the hospital. And tonight, the driver of that car is facing charges. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Jessica has the night off. Now, this happened in the 1500 block of Ringgold Street in Philadelphia's Point Breeze neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun joins us now with more on the conditions of the victims. Also, new information about the driver. David. Hi, Yuki. Good evening. It is a terrible situation. So many people outside having fun on this Labor Day, enjoying the nice weather tonight. The driver, authorities not releasing her name. She is being charged with DUI. And tonight, victims are at local hospitals, including Hahnemann. These images paint a gruesome picture. Melee on Ringgold Street Monday afternoon in Point Breeze. Dozens of people were outside having a good time when things changed in a second. It was just so much. It was crazy. Kamala Muhammad was sitting outside with family and friends. She watched as people were hit by the out of control driver. I've never seen nothing like this. And my son and my goddaughter just moved. They hadn't moved. They'd have been under that car. Authorities say eight people were hit, including a pregnant woman. They were rushed to local hospitals with non life threatening injuries. Witnesses say the driver was trying to drive around the crowd when she plowed into it. I could see the whole front of the vehicle coming towards us. We didn't know, and it wasn't stopping. So at that point, everybody scattering to get out the way. No children were hit, but neighbors tell Eyewitness News several elderly neighbors were taken away on stretchers. It was coming fast, but you couldn't hear anything because of the commotion. It was a lot of people. A lot of screaming. It was a lot of screaming, so we thought it was fighting. And the driver blames faulty brakes in this situation. Police are investigating that claim, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Again, that driver being charged with DUI. Those victims expected to recover non-life-threatening injuries. That is the good news here, but a horrible situation. Yuki. Horrible indeed. David, thank you.